So hey guys, um, <laughs> this is a 75 gallon tank and look at this bubble coral. I, I wish you could get the full angle. I, I don't have a, my lens clip on anymore. I'm literally holding gla orange glasses here over my lens. This bubble coral was four inches. Now this rack is about 10 inches across. Look at this thing. It's a beautiful thing. It, it goes, it actually reaches sometimes all the way inside those rocks. Um, it's folded up right here. It's in a piece, the three inch PVC, but just look at it. It looks skinny here. I wish you could see it from the top, but look at that thing. Um, all my corals that are gonna be mounted soon. I finally um, got rid of my anemones. They're there, I'm getting rid of them. Um, a can's looking good. Um, I, look at my bounce mushroom, man. Look at the size. Can you? Those are absolutely huge. Look at a little. One tumor's got another one in the top growing. All the ones around it are growing. Pectina's good. Oh, these oanth. It's my rastas though. They really don't grow good. Um, I don't know why. Um, these need more light. I need like reef bright lights. They just don't reach good. I got a shadow over this right now because of that, but that's temporary. So now I'm finally going to be able to start putting all these pretty zoanthids and mainly zoanthids, blasso, duncans, lipstria, uh, and hammers and frog spot on my rocks because this is just really. Uh, <laughs> I have not put anything on it because of the damn anemone. It, it went, it was attacking my cotton candy torch and it was reaching this dragon, so it, it, Fabia, and it was reaching them. It just got out of hand. My poor clownfish has no anemone. He's a little confused. I think I'm gonna put my paired clownfish up here. Either put him in my other tank for now or donate him. I've had him for a while, but I feel so bad. I took his home away. Oh, uh, yeah, so look at that thing. Can, let me back away if there's if there's glare. Look at the tank and look how big <laughs> the bubble core really cracks me up because it's huge. It's absolutely huge. And if the side would fold down, it would be so big because that the, the part of it on there is leaning against the glass, but the current from up here makes this so push up but i mean just look at that it's such a beautiful piece but i don't know what you do with one as they grow all right well i don't want to make this too long it was just kind of a glimpse here um now i'm going to start reorganizing my tank and see that rock in the middle has been in a bucket for a couple of days the coral line's turning pink it started dying um i hope i didn't let it stay out too long. Without the glasses, you can barely see it. But but anyways, I've got some really pretty zoanthids though. Um, really do. And and I'm getting rid of those Duncans. There's just too many. There's like 12 over there. They just take up too much space. My gold hammer, the other hammer was a little knob. It grew huge. My frog spawn, dragon soul, orange torch, cotton candy torch. Um, all my acans, I mean, this one here, the not the orange one, the left, the one in the middle is grown all those heads. It was one when I bought it. Same with almost all of those in there. Um, really amazing. All right, so that's it for now, but uh, I'll see you guys in the next video.